Okay, so this is the video I really wanted to do. Now, I've heard about this. Obviously, we've all heard about this, but I don't know the specific details of this. And I watched a video from this guy's channel yesterday on how bad is Jamarcus Russell actually. And that video was actually really good and really informative. So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm going to watch this one on my YouTube channel. So this is LeBron's how he spends $1.5 or $2 million on his body every single year to keep him in shape. So I'm interested to see what information this video has. And since the Lakers aren't in the, um, you know, this is about as close as we're going to get. <laughs> Just give me one second. By the end of his current deal with the Lakers, LeBron James will become the highest paid NBA player ever with more than $350 million in career earnings. Of course, LeBron is not keeping all this money under the mattress. He happens to be an extremely successful investor with stake ownership in Beats by Dre, Liverpool Football Club, and Blaze Pizza, among many other endorsements. LeBron is also known as a person who invests a lot of time and resources to keep his body in the best shape possible. In this video, we'll look how LeBron trains, why he spends millions of dollars on physical fitness, and how he could end up as the most durable athlete right. ever. I think he is. Spends 1.5 million a year on his body. LeBron has a rule that he religiously follows, and that rule is that you keep the number one thing the number one thing. Translated, this means that basketball, which has been his primary source of income and a catalyst for all the other revenue flows, always remains the number one thing during That's his playing motto. days. LeBron understands that basketball is the That's driving force for most of his other ventures, and that his success off the court is closely tied to his success in the NBA, as nobody wants to buy basketball shoes from an unsuccessful player. And even after his three rings and a thick resume that transcends basketball, LeBron is still going strong in his 17th year, with no sign of slowing down. If you're wondering how that's possible, it's because he never stops training and spends huge amounts of money to keep his body in the best possible shape. He uses cryotherapy to decrease inflammation in his body and relieve muscle pain after hard training sessions. Apart from freezing himself to death, he also uses hyperbaric chambers to increase the amount of oxygen in his blood by simulating high-altitude conditions, which results in better endurance and overall performance. In his recovery regimen, another modern gizmo is Normatec Leg Boot, which massages his lower extremities and keeps the muscles loose and warm, which benefits with aches and soreness. He also gets private treatments with liquid nitrogen to help reduce inflammation. Other than that, he employs a team of personal chefs, massage therapists, and trainers to keep him in tip-top shape. Like Dwayne Johnson, another famous gym rat, LeBron has to pump iron everywhere he goes. Even if it's a yacht in the Mediterranean in the middle of the summer, the yacht has to be equipped with a gym because LeBron is addicted to working out. When he was filming Space Jam in the summer of 2019, he would spend up to 12 this. hours on the set, which is exhausting yeah, in itself. This, yeah. However, before every day of shooting, that would usually start around mm -hmm. 7 a.m., LeBron would already that's practice, which means he would wake up around 4 a.m. every day. Now that's commitment. LeBron's greatness is taken somewhat for granted because he won the genetic golden ticket and grew up into a 6'8 uber athlete that can jump out of the gym. However, there were many athletic guys in the NBA, but for him to still be basically playing the same level past the age of 35, now that's something else. So let's take a look at how he does it. LeBron James's workout routine. When we watch basketball games, we see the final product on the court, but everything that goes into it is what very few people understand. LeBron is one of the hardest and smartest workers in the NBA, and the fact that he hasn't suffered a severe injury is not an accident. Sure, there is some luck because freak injuries happen in basketball, but LeBron is doing everything he possibly can to decrease the chance for injury, and the results have been tremendous Never so heard far. Of him. The man that helped him along the way, and who is still his personal trainer and one of his closest associates, is a man named Jeez. Mike Mencius. Mencius is one of the top personal <laughs> trainers in the world, and he became the LeBron. When
Tim Grover was for Michael Jordan. And Sias began working for the Cavs in 2005. And LeBron asked for his advice when he was experiencing back tightness and knee soreness, which were big problems since James wasn't yet 22. And Sias then reconstructed his workout routine and is a big reason why LeBron was injury free for the majority of his career. And Sias now has LeBron on a tight weekly schedule that includes weightlifting up to three times per week plyometric work, or right, cardio exactly. on the Versa Climber several times per week, and some form of yoga Plus and stretching and before and after every session. Of course, that doesn't include actual basketball training and around 100 basketball games he plays every year. Yoga and stretching is something James learned out of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's book and then took it to a completely different level. Kareem swore by yoga and said that it's only because of it that he was able to keep playing at the age of four and still be productive. Yoga? Why LeBron yoga? suffered a first Somebody serious injury in the 2015 me. season. He had an injured disc in his back and his mobility and explosiveness took a significant... LeBron also transformed the way he lands on the floor to preserve his joints. If you look at how he maneuvers landings after dunks, he's like a gazelle just softly <laughs> touching the ground after a Trying big jump, a which goes a long way for me and ankle durability. When it comes not to optimizing real. performance, LeBron kept no stone unturned and was not shy to ask for help. Because of all the work on his biomechanics, mobility, like and state-of-the-art recovery feet. systems, he's what still at the, the top of the basketball world. To be the king, you have to think like a king and train like a king. And if you really want to know the full details of LeBron's workout, watch this one-hour uncut video of his training with Mancius on YouTube. LeBron James' I won't be nutrition. That, but that's cool. Like with training and recovery, James also invests a lot in nutrition to replenish his body with the right fuel so he can perform at the optimal level. He eats about five times a day a traditional what breakfast, lunch, and dinner, five and times. a couple of snacks in between. James starts off the day with an egg white omelet with French toast, to or a turkey sandwich with avocados or a yogurt with some fruit. If he feels frisky enough, he even goes for some Fruity Pebbles, his favorite cereal. After practice, he eats a snack that is either protein shake with some almond or peanut butter or some more fruit. Before the game, LeBron usually eats a light lunch that involves okay. lean proteins, leafy greens, and complex That's carbs. Fine. His most common choices are I'm chicken breast that. and some pasta, or a veggie salad with some fruits. During the game, he might go an energy bar or even peanut butter I'm and jelly sandwich that. to keep him energized for the remainder of the game. After the game, LeBron's glycogen levels are depleted, and he is conscious of hydrating a lot after he burns a lot of energy. He religiously drinks a protein recovery shake and carbohydrate-rich recovery fluids, which are both provided by Mancius. James ramps up on the carbs in the playoffs because of greater energy expenditure. Mm. He stays off sugar because it slows down the recovery process after games. For the same mm. reason, he doesn't That's eat smart. a lot of red meat, and he completely removed pork from his menu. He's more likely that to red meat to slow you down, down, boy. Except for in 2000. That red meat is slowing nigga down, no and ate nothing yeah. but meats, fruits, and veggies That's... for two months. And last but not least, Ron is a very known wine aficionado and likes to drink quality vino after dinner. Apart from great taste, it helps him to fall asleep easier. To de-stimulate his brain, LeBron also uses the Calm Meditation app to shut off his mind and focus app. on the next day's action. LeBron's little, longevity records. This nigga got he everything keeps this pace and stays lucky with the injuries. LeBron can break all kinds of records. Before, of course, oh the focus gosh. is on the all-time scoring finals, he's going where James is currently the, third the behind Kareem is. and Paul Malone. If he keeps playing into his 40s, he might amass well over 40,000 points and comfortably break Jabbar's record of 38,387. LeBron is also likely to be one of seven NBA players who have over 10,000 assists, joining Stockton, Kidd, Nash, Magic, and Mark Jackson, and probably Chris Paul. James is already in the top 10 of all time in the regular season when it comes to minutes played and the first in playoff minutes played. By the time it's all said and done, LBJ will likely be the player who played most basketball ever. Apart from the his tremendous God-given talent, LeBron Maybe has an incredible best. work ethic and has made smart choices that keep him at the top for 17 years and counting. LeBron is already one of the most durable athletes, and once you learn about his habits, it's easy to see why. <laughs> With a little bit of luck, he could become the most <laughs> durable there. athlete ever and further advance his case in the GOAT status in basketball. <laughs> Anyways, um, you guys leave likes. That was interesting. I didn't know almost all of that. So I learned a lot. I don't know how much you guys learned from that video. I learned a lot. I'll leave a link to Nonstop Sports channel in the description. Like I said, go check them out. 
I watched one of their videos yesterday. They got a lot of bangers on that channel. I literally just found the channel. I didn't even know about it. So, um, they got a lot of bangers. Go check them out. This was one of them. Um, in Yemen, that red meat, man. Shh, sheesh. I might want to cut the red meat out. If you really, 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 really locked in, like locked in, locked in, then you cut the red meat out low key. Or you got to cut back on it because that shit do slow you down. That shit is heavy. Anyways. That's going to do it. I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos for the day. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Um, I love y'all. Peace out.